Hey Rocco, are you do? Are, do you have your mic fixed yet? Yeah, can you hear me now? Oh yes, I can hear you now. Yeah. Woohoo! Welcome uh -huh. to the show. <laughs> and this is Beyond the Looking well, Glass with Rav. Did you did you have any comments or anything? No, I just I jumped in. I heard tinfoil hat and I'm all in. So where do we oh. go from <laughs> here? Where do I get one? Yeah, yeah, we all got one. <laughs> Rav, he don't wear his. Does it? Uh, does yours come? Does yours have a barcode or what? How does that work? No, you know, I had a I had a show one night and I, and it was at night and everybody was supposed to come and and wear their tin foil hats and uh I, I made mine. I made one. Do you know Excalibur where Merlin he has that tight cap plate on? I made one just like that. Man, it was so cool. That little point down <laughs> in the front. <laughs> but I have a picture of a cat with hey, one. You know. With points hey, of our own, sitting that's way That's a good idea. What's that's a good, a good idea? idea? We should market that. We should market that. Tinfoil hats. Well, I think it's already being hats. done. Tinfoil <laughs> fedoras. Tinfoil baseball caps. Tinfoil whatever. <laughs> Dude, whole new style. There might be some tinfoil copyright hats. infringement. We'll have to get on <laughs> Well, you know, Rocco, we, we've been talking about... Uh, uh, the manipulation that that how how intense it is how uh invasive it it is it's in it's in everywhere everything we we know everything that we have been taught uh like rav said we are born into ignorance and manipulation um and and they've done their job so well that even when you bring the truth and you can show the people that they have been manipulated that they have been living in a prison planet uh, that they are just part of the herd a human resource uh, they they still don't get it they it, it does not compute they cannot uh, for some reason it does not sit within their minds that that uh, it could possibly be true even though it's right, all it's, around it's all them. Shock, it's shock doctrine and Stockholm Syndrome. They're just prisoners in their own minds. It's it's quite pathetic. Yeah, what do you think the, the separating force is between those who are awake and aware and those who aren't? What what is the 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 crux that that, that divides one from the other? I mean, how come we are able to to uh, make our way through the, the the misinformation, the propaganda, the lies, the the historical lies, all of these things, uh, to a point where we have understanding of how we've been lied to? We may not have the whole truth uh, of of what is and what will be, but we have a really dang good idea how we got to this point. Uh, but then you have others right. who, who, given the same amount of information, have not come to the same conclusion. Well, you know what? I, I got an easy answer for you. Those, I, you know, as I say, those of us at the tip of the spear, you know, are, are pretty much, uh, you know, embattled with, with the court system or, you know, so that's, that's pretty much, yeah, that's when... You know, you're learning your most when your fat's in the fire. That, so those people, I think, are the most awake, um, because they've had everything shattered. And uh, you know, heck, and I got a story to tell. But I, I've, I've gone from, it's like, it's like zero to a hundred in in like a, a second. You know, in four years' time, it seems. So I keep learning and learning, and I've. Uh, you know, I got lots of stories uh, for you, boy. Exciting stuff. I mean, I can tell you, I've seen stuff happen in the courtroom that uh, I never thought I'd see happen. And, uh, um, boy, I don't know where you want to go. It's like, I'm sorry, I kind of jumped in here, and I don't know what we're talking about, but uh, we talk I, about anything and everything. And pounding. Right, and we're just, I'm just being pounded. I, I, I just don't want to go off on a diatribe here and, and hijack your show. I'm trying to um, oh, share a few, hey, uh, bud. I Turtle, hear. what is it? Well, we hey, how's it, how's it going, Rocco? Hey, Turtle, what is it we hey, say about topics? 
Yeah, we, we we like for people to come on and run away with the show. Uh, our topics are wherever you want to go. So um, we don't have commercials, and we're not set to any time limit. So you're free to to rant, and, and uh, that way we all learn. Right. That way the information uh, makes its way, you know. So feel free. So I just, well, I had, I had just jumped in, and I, I was traveling for a while you know on and, and you know Bo and Tammy I'm sure <laughs> as we're uh, she said you got to talk to these guys so I'm, I'm talking to you guys um, yeah for for me this this really all started at four years ago um, with, um, with with you know with court and uh, so what I what I've learned I'm not, I'm not sure how far you guys have been brought uh, along with, with you know what we're doing documents uh um we're pretty up with it tammy tammy and Bo have been very instrumental in in educating us on on what exactly has been going on yeah okay so i'm I mean, actually got, um, i'm getting copies printed up and i'm getting copies printed up and sharing them around town here too so i tried giving them to one of the local sheriffs and uh yeah, I, I said, hey, there's got something for you. He's like, what is it? I said, well, it's just something I printed out. I think you should read. You might need to be aware of. And he's like, not interested. And he just kept walking. It's like, okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Go ahead. but I, I'm looking at uh, the Barry here who said, yeah, share a few stories, maybe success stories. Um, well... This, this all starts with the realization we wake up. We just wake up because we've been hit by a truck and, we're fun, and we find ourselves in court, which is pretty much the majority of people. And then you, you start doing research. You, you find out a ton of things like, uh, like that name you got is um is is a franchise you know name it's created by the government we we realize we the day we were born is the day we actually died into a into a fiction or the or the franchise that we've been using you know what's your name or this is your name johnny and susie and and, and, and go to school and uh and, and be taught that uh, the policeman is your friend and uh all, all that good stuff so Anyway, let, let's fast forward and call this thing what it is, this name. It's a dead thing. It's a franchise. So we awoke and we realized we're what? We're living. We're alive. We are be living, as, as Tammy would say. We're in, a, uh, we're in a state of being. You know, we're actually a, a sovereign state of being, and, and we just realize we've been had. We've been had by who? We've been had by Congress. And... Um, there's there's a whole lot of history there, but but let me let me tell you with those documents what we're doing. We're we're saying that we're alive. Number one, we forgive ourselves for saying, you know what? Uh, I really took this line hook hook line and sinker. Uh, that's why that's why we're all talking now. We we realize something is totally wrong, out of whack. I mean, we're talking about wearing tinfoil hats here, people. We, we, they're just destroying our minds, our brains, our offspring. They want to control all those resources like you were talking about, Patty. Uh, we are just chattel to them. We are stock. They are breeding us. And then when we get, you know, when they, when they need their steaks, they call a few of us. And we, when the herd gets diseased, they got to call a bunch more. And so we're just being traded, bought, and sold so we want to step out of that and say, I'm no longer that dead thing. I, I forgive myself for being part of that. I'm awake, so I'm going to appoint myself, who I know is living, not part of that dead system, as executor over, over that estate um, that, uh, you know, through our birthright. We have a share in this planet. I, I hope we all can agree on that. Uh, we're born in a sovereign state. And then all of a sudden, all the talking heads come our way and, and, and steal all of our uh, <laughs> our fruit, our intellectual property, our bodies. Uh, uh, so let me run this down. We we have that executor, Doc. We're coming in as a, the executor. We're forgiving ourselves. And, of course, we all want to be fruitful and multiply, right? Sounds good. So we throw in a fee schedule. 
they contract with us, don't they? Uh, they want a contract for everything. They want a driver's license. They want um, registrations. So to break this down to the lowest common denominator, uh, let's just think of every contracting agent. There are many. Let's just look at law enforcement. And I, could, I think we can all agree really quick that they're just contracting agencies. We call them policy officers. They're just enforcing policy. So, they're actually privateers um, with letters of marquee, uh, or letters of mark, from Congress, and they're collecting taxes. It's just, it's just that simple. Um, we're just reversing this all. We are reversing, you know, it's in the looking glass. We're like, we're stepping out of that bondage, that matrix they've created for us to live in. And we're we're taking control, and um, here, um, I'll tell you something right now. I put in this, these very documents, okay, into a few court cases. I mean, I'll go through these one at a time if you'd like. I put in the, the executor doc, the forgiveness doc, the fee schedule, what it's going to cost them to uh, contract with me, and I also put in a fourth one, a, a no trespass, which refers to you know, all those three, the no trespass uh, has those other uh, documents in them. So when I put this on the record, uh, there, there's no mistake, you know, they've been warned. I've, uh, I've given them my terms to contract. So let's take this back to what happens when I uh, talk to the police. You know, they want to come up to me, I hand them my fee schedule. So we're... Uh, that has been recorded. I'm giving them notice. Um, Even if they don't understand I mean, what you've handed them, it's still uh, a uh, recorded document. Therefore, they're held to it. Right? A absolutely. Now, you can, you can go out of your way. And, uh, you see, we notice up people, agencies... Um, I mean, you don't want to get too carried away. Um, like, like for the, uh, let's just focus on this one, uh, the example I picked with, with the cops, with the policy officers getting pulled over. Well, at the top of that chain, besides Congress, you got what? You got Department of Transportation. So we have um, that same notice. We want to notice them up, you know, Department of Transportation. Everybody is below the Department of Transportation. So... But you could also give one to your local sheriff, you know, so Department of Transportation, and you're, you're giving them a notice. And then carry copies, you know, on you. Um, but you see, here's the thing. When I tell you this, I'm in this um, all the way. I, I am out of the system, okay? I mean, that's what I got to tell you, too. I have nothing to do with their system. Uh, no license, no registrations, no social security, nothing. And all through these documents, I I have lived the walk and, and, and lived uh, my will, which I've given to them on record. This is my will. He, here are my deeds. I'm living uh, according to the public law. But what really gets them is the fact there's a lot of technical things I could refer to and point you back to the Sesta Act of 1666. Um, but you really have a have to have a big overview of what's going on. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Sesta Act of 1666. Did uh, have you listened to Tammy talk about that in, in yes. part or in whole or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have. we. Yeah. we, we we basically know that, hey guys, this was like the 9-11, the London fire, there was, there was a fire back then that destroyed London. And, um, and we just call it, you know, that was there in 9-11, another false flag. Because what happened during that fire? Oops, everything was destroyed, we gotta start over. We're going to assume everyone's dead. That's how they laid this fictional uh, foundation down. And, and they brought in uh, all sorts of law, like the uh, law of the sea, that Admiralty Maritime Law. Um, there's all sorts of laws that you're going to find out, uh, like bankruptcy. 
You know, you have seven years. Uh, Sesuke Vi Act, you have seven years to appear. If you don't appear within seven years, we're going to assume you're dead. That's exactly what's going on. Why, assuming we're dead, the government makes sure we're born dead, you know, with, with those uh, registered births that our in, uh, informant mother got suckered into. Um, we're registered at birth. We are announced in the newspaper, you know, a boy, a girl, go to Black's Law and look up what, look up A. And under one of the definitions is a stock announcement. So they're, they're telling the world, today a stock was issued, a boy, a girl. Now the reason for that, part of it is, they have to do it because it's all commerce. They're giving public notice of, of a, uh, a stock. Now, who's going to claim that stock? That's why you, you put it out. When someone dies, you have to do what? You have to do notices, estate. You know, any claims against this estate? Well, when you're born, there's, they're doing the same thing. Any claims here? If there are no claims within X amount of days, you know, we're going to, the state's going to come in and pick it up as salvage. And, and claim rights. Now the father should be the one stepping forward and say, of course, I am claiming this, but we, we've all been dumbed down. And uh, they're just running so much game on us. So right there, they've made the parents unwilling participants in a scheme by, by theft, deception, trick, deceit, simulation, whatever you want to call it, pure, sheer, uh, terror-filled, <laughs> manipulation, you know, we're talking slavery, we are talking human trafficking and hypothecation those are our two high crimes that we focus on everything else is a derivative, it's a derivative you either have human trafficking or you have hypothecation, you know, it's, it's both from the moment you're born you are considered their property and they're going to create you know, bonds off of you and actually the people are the full faith and credit of the United States. So what's going on is they're printing that money off of our backs. And they're making, you know, our generations, you know, the, the our, our children's children's children paying for this debt that they created. Which also runs into, you'd ask yourself, where do we get into this mess? How did this start? Um, March 9th, or March 9th, 1933, uh, this country went bankrupt. So um, they were under the emergency, um, Banking Emergency Act of, of said year, I think it's called. And since then, uh, the government confiscated all the gold. Uh, th there's stories that uh, the government actually had like 160 billion in gold, and they actually put it in a, in a um, in the Elamasonary Trust, a credit trust. Now, that was run by the uh, by Congress, run by the Federal Reserve. So there was another account that was a credit account that nobody ever looked at. Now, if you know anything about bankruptcy, can you declare bankruptcy? Could you de could you could you tell the judge say I'm declaring bankruptcy, but I got a credit limit of 160 billion? What's that judge gonna say to you? Do you think he's going to grant you that bankruptcy? Uh, so, no. This has all been fraud since the beginning. You know, we, we've been set up. Uh, we're, we're treated as, a, as a stock, a chattel. Every time, back to uh, the cop writing a ticket on the side of the road, speeding, whatever, using a cell phone, uh, not having a seatbelt, that is a security. He's riding on the, on the side of the road. He's riding up a security. That ticket is going to be um, traded. Um, and you can chase it. There, it or chase it. You can um, track this if you have the right, uh, um, I guess, accounts, like a QCIP number. You just have to have a stock trading account, uh, a Bloomberg account. You can look up. I mean, I've done this. I've looked up the Social Security uh, before on uh, Fidelity Group when you could do that and, and found out there's within the Social Security number, there's trusts that are broken down. And I've done this with court cases. I've taken, entered the court case in, 
and uh, I did this one time. I had a uh, a court case number in a DA number. It was the same case, but two different numbers. And I was thinking, okay, uh, is this gonna is this gonna be accurate? So I I put in the one number, and I'm thinking, if I if I put in the second number, the the DA case number, it should match the first one, right? And sure as heck, it did. It, it just verified that there was an account. You know, the case was worth, it was, it was my case, it was worth $2 million. So to, so to somebody, that was worth $2 million through hypothecation. I, I, I really don't understand, you know, how that works, how they can do that, but they're doing it, people. It, it's happening all around us. They, they crave our signature because that's the gold. You know, your, your autograph is gold. AU, the atomic symbol for gold, right? AU. Every time you write, you're giving your autograph. You're giving them gold. They want that autograph before they want anything else. That's the signature. That's what pays the bills. You know. Um, now, so, Rocco, every court case... Yeah, yeah. Um, when you go for uh, employment, um, and, and the first thing they want you to do is give them uh, your social security number. Um, and uh, a lot of times they want to know your maiden name if you're a female they want right. to know all of this uh, information and then they you have to sign um, in in the corporate world does it deliver the same uh, when you sign and and do they get money from that also Other oh, every everything yeah, yeah. Every time you sign something, well, here, let me put it this way. Um, you would be surprised, like job applications, uh, those can be monetized as well. Now, now we get into a, um, I don't want to start getting into, uh, getting into code pleading defenses here and start, start talking statutes. I started down that road. I got off that sinking ship because I, uh, <clears throat> I really did follow my heart and, um, <laughs> you know that's that's another story in itself because you're bringing up this whole practicality of it all. I, I'm sure you got tons of listeners going right. I'm listening to this nut job who says he's out of the system. How does he operate? How does he survive? That this is tremendously different from uh, how people operate. But I have, you know, operated when I've had to in the system because. I just sh I know how to shake people down and have fun doing it. You're going to deny me rights of employment uh, based on what? Uh, th there's no law. There's no law requiring me to have a social security number. There's no law requiring me to give you said number. And if they're going to ask to produce, I, I hand them my fee schedule basically and say, those are franchise uh, trademarked um, property you're asking for. I have no right to give you those. But, here's, but if you keep asking me, it's going to cost you in lawful money. Um, but you know, you know what? When I start doing it, I guess I have a way of just you know charming people and bringing them down to earth. And next thing you know, I'm working for them, basically off the books, because I end up helping them with a lot of other. Uh, uh, we have long talks, you know, their legal issues, and um, but here I don't want to delve in that. Uh, well, and, yeah, and I understand. Uh, I understand what you're um, saying. Uh, what I was, what I was trying to uh, understand, and our listeners are quite aware of uh, mm -hmm. uh, everything that you're speaking of, and they don't think that you're some crazy. They really don't. Um, but uh, and I too it's deal. It's okay if they do too. Right, but I deal with with working under the table too. Um, although I still am attached in a couple of ways to the system. I've never worked within the system if I could get away from it. Uh, however, right. uh, there have been times when I've had no option but to join. But it's been my choice. It has been what I have I, chosen to do. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is that this is not just something that affects us in a court system or in a, uh, a law uh, uh, as as far as traffic or anything like this, this affects us in every aspect of our lives. Uh, they make money off of us in everything that we do, right? Uh, 
even if you oh, go to oh, the doctor. Yeah. It's because you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, now we're getting into, you see, this is where Tammy can just pull up through this treaty, through that treaty, and, and how Congress, yeah, they've been going through the doctor. They have uh, put down these, uh, boy, matrixes within matrixes. They've, they're they collecting federal funds right back just to see you, just to send that doctor to school and indoctrinate that guy. The the, the bricks that, that hold that institution he learned in, those universities, guess what? They were all given to, um, or Congress took them over. They were supposed to be given to the people. So this is all wrapped up. It goes to the whole basis of what we're, I don't want to say reclaiming, we're just reminding them, hey, you guys are involved with human, human trafficking. You're supposed to be taking care of the people through their birthright. What did you do back there during the Treaty of Amity Converse navigation, you know, or, uh, or any of these other treaties where lands were donated to the people and um, the government came in, became a corporation, then they reneged on that deal. We turned everything into a corporation. Turned people into a corporation. So, uh, <laughs> this is this is yeah. It, it runs so deep, it, it's it's mind-boggling. So we're actually reaching back, saying we're the United States. You know, lowercase. We are the original United States, and we're point, and we're witnessing up all their um, their evil deeds, basically. Right, exactly. So, and it's, and like I said, yes. It was, go ahead. And and it's true that the more people, uh, the more beings that that uh, get aware, become aware, and the more that that give their their documents of forgiveness and uh, executor. Um, the more people that step out of the system in this way, uh, not only are they, you know, a, lo uh, a lot of people would say, well, if you don't have this government, what you going to have, you know? Well, if if you step out of the system, you go, you you already are into uh, where you should be, because once you you give the documents of forgiveness, once you you. Uh, sign the executor you're no longer part of that system your whole no world didn't babylon. end right you don't need babylon and and uh there is a structure that that uh uh we have to fall back on uh the original right uh as far as as oh a abs absolutely the original is Congress is supposed to do this. Everybody, you know, put on our thinking caps. Congress is supposed to take care of the, take care of the people, uh, not take care of corporations. So they found themselves in a, in a dirty little uh, tempting dilemma. Um, they they decided to become a corporation and then turn us into corporations. I I don't know what the temptation was there other than just absolute power corrupting absolutely. Uh, but it's interesting how these, you know, we the people, who are these 39 dead men who got together? Uh, and, and what power do they have over us today? That's what you really got to ask yourself. There's a group right. of guys who got together, and they call themselves we the people. I come in and say, hey, I'm, I'm the, other, the other people. I'm we the other people. Uh, I don't know who you are. Uh, I was not born a slave. We're, we're waking up. We're just saying we're not born property. We're not born slaves. We were. We were tricked. We were told we were. So I can tell you, it, out of in fact, I I can say I've never been paid. I've never had a social security number. I had never had a license because those things were all done under fraud. You know, they were, they took away the money, so nothing was ever paid. It was just novated or exchanged through their make believe debt notes. Though those dollar bills are just evidences of debt that we're carrying around. That's all they are. We're evidencing of debt every time we send each other a letter using their name. We're telling Uncle Sam as Uncle Sam stamps it and as a witness says, yep, they're dead. This guy's sending that dead guy or dead girl uh, a letter and they're evidencing themselves selves up to be dead. So we're doing their jobs for other people. If we're just saying we're the walking dead, what are they going to do? They're going to say there's no controversy before the court. Heck, you showed up in court and you answered a summons. What's the summons for? You can only summon the who? 
the dead. I mean, it's really that. It really is that simple. I don't want to sound cocky, but uh, it really is that simple. And when you start living this stuff and just saying no to Babylon, uh, you will appreciate everything more and more. Um, hey, Rocco. The truth. I've just. Uh, yeah. Hello. Hey, yeah. I got a quick question for you. So, sure. if they're summoning you and you're dead, could we charge them for necromancy? <laughs> no. Because nice pretty much one. all no, without all doubt. biblical law that I understand is uh, necromancy is forbidden. So, yeah, it's still human trafficking, even if tapping us up like dead cordwood and burning us for our energy. Um, I, I get you. That's a that's a provocative thought there. But we want, uh, and, and then there's we got stuff we're. We'll be able to talk to you in depth of, uh, it doesn't involve necromancy, but, uh, it, it involves some, uh, boy, I don't even know if I'm going to talk about it. Now, we'll have to visit that at a future date. Um, but here, here's what I, I, I always call them the truth junkies, people, or the proof junkies, you know, Rocco, you know, um, show me proof, uh, we'll, we'll hear like I said earlier, I had like, uh, I don't know, three, four cases that I put put this paperwork, and I really hate calling it this paperwork because it's much more than paperwork, but, you know, for brevity. I, I've stopped, I've stopped uh, like these three or four cases. They just hit a wall. The other side didn't know what to do with this. Um, one was a, uh, actually, two were, were credit card companies. Um, I was having fun with that. You see, I started out doing everything statutorily. I, you know, I studied up in the uh, the Fair Credit Reporting Act for the Collections Practices Act, Telephone Consumer Practices Act, all that stuff. I was walking in statutory. I had these guys on the ropes. You know, went from uh, had them in state court and federal court, duking it out, battling it out, and um, I had s something else going on where uh you know this is why i said i followed my heart don't don't want to get all mushy here but i i was saying okay i've learned i i've got years under my belt three years i'm ready to do this code pleading and and i was you know i have a, an aggressive personality i guess i was ready to tackle this but you know what that that small still voice whatever you want to call it that that absolute truth why are we here what are we doing i'm pretty open and, and uh i just said uh wait a minute I, I pumped the brakes a bit because i already i knew tam tammy in a bow and uh something just clicked one day to say you know what i'm going for this i am absolutely going for this so I remember being in a superior position, you know, if you can have such a thing, as a code pleader, and just um, bailing out, <laughs> bailing out, jumping out, just walking away, getting Babylon in my rearview mirror. So I put in my executor doc, I put in my forgiveness doc, the, the fee schedule, no trespass, and walked away from it. And put it into those court cases everything stopped everything stopped two cases they never visited back they never contacted the court it i don't even know what happened but the the other case was an important case that involved a house and uh, someone was trying to steal my house i will tell you this and and this just stopped a case dismissed 10 days later um and i don't know how much tammy again has talked to you about like the the fee schedule, but um, that's a hefty sum that they're looking at. If they want to injure me, which is to place in law, and it's all covered in the in the um, the you know the fee schedule. So they knew that they were dealing with the executor over an estate. They knew that they could not summon that dead franchise. On, on, well, they they could summon it up, but it's going to cost them a lot to do that. So that I mean, there's my my stories there. The, those are personal victories I I can tell you that have occurred in my life. Um, well, well, I'd and, like uh, to I, say, and I get how 
I'd like to say that, that uh, we know from experience uh, that the, the easiest way to get the government or any institution to look the other way is to cost them money. You know, if you're going to cost them, they don't want to have anything to do with you. Um, if you're going to provide them, right. then they want everything to do with you. Right, and and I've walked down that um that crazy code pleading road. I I was throwing everything up and against the wall to, to make sure, to see if it would stick. And believe you me, um, it is an ignorant world. And I can look back. I did some of the stupidest things, but I will tell you, some of the stupidest things worked because it's just a game. It was a bluff. And and I had conviction, just like I'm talking to you now. I I believe you know in what I'm doing. Um, and I guess that just deterred people. You know, I was doing a uh, a bunch of things. You know, um, I, I don't even know what they call. It. I, it's not even worthy of mention, basically, because I I'm on the right uh, path. Now, I mean, what could be more real than uh, waking up alive and uh, getting out of Babylon and, and realizing that we have human trafficking and hypothecation going on? All around us, you know, the, that hypothecation word covers all the securitization, the monetization, um, all the zations <laughs> out there. Um, I find the more that I go into detail, I find myself we're focusing on the details. We're we're losing the fact that guys, this has been the biggest bluff, you know, man has ever known, um, and they've done this over the the millennia, you know. Uh, uh, taking away and adding to, you know, they're always rewriting history and, and all that code and making us, and we're consenting. Some of the, the foremost powerful world words you could say, I do not consent. I do not consent. Just start saying that and see what happens. Um, they're so used to having it their own way. They're so, they're so used to us being sheeple, the walking dead, the sleeping, uh, the sleeping masses, that they can just walk up, cuff, and uh, cuff and stuff. But, yep. uh, you know, and, and I'm seeing a call like this and a show like yours, and, and we started out really small, and 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 the message is getting out there. It's, it, it, it grows. I go out, I, I talk to everybody about this. I can't stop talking about it. It's the only thing I want to talk about. It's the only thing that matters. So, um, hey, have you heard? Have you heard what's happening in uh, Colorado right now? With with they passed the I was thing just to uh, legalize recreational marijuana, but uh, the state Dude, I, said, "Okay, that's fine. You passed the law." But now Obama said, um, "So what? We're still going to bust you for it." And the state said, um, "Okay, go ahead and bust him for it." So you know what the fuck is the point of going and working within the system and changing a law? Which for a, they actually did the work, got the law changed. You know they won, but they're just ignoring it. So. Oh, yeah. I, I absolutely. I, you know what? Funny because I just went through. I went to Colorado in in March and um, and in September went up to uh, uh, Washington, all dealing with medical marijuana issues. People were, cons you know, I was consulting, you know, for people, and, and it was just a joke. Now, you know, in in, in Colorado, you can have, you know, uh, Washington. It's fifteen plants. Per card holder, right? And you can have a caregiver growing up. To you can have, you know, a whole house full of these uh, zones, growing zones. Um, and here's a little common sense thing. You know, I hate to go back and sound like the code pleader, but it's it's common sense. Now, let's say this. Let's say you have 15 plants, and you have you can only have 24 ounces, right, Anya? People are not getting the common sense division of when they go to cut down these plants, guess what happens? They're no longer plants, are they? The plants become what? The, the plants become, you know, the, the allowable limit. So you got a lot of people, the common sense just goes out of their head when they grab that machete and they start cutting down stalks because the moment they cut down their stalks and they want to dry everything, guess what? If you're over, if you're over your 24 ounces, you, you're busted. You're done. 
I mean, some of this, it boggles right. the mind that they must be laughing when they write these laws. So, I've, I've seen a lot of stuff and I had to draw attention to go, guys, do you realize the, 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 the hole, they can, that loophole they can drive in here? You, through, they could drive a semi-truck through that hole. Just on that point alone. Right. So, it's all funny. Well, and, it's and, all fiction. And, and, Right, and again, it's you know, if you want a contract with them, then you're contracting through that franchise. You know, just right. step back and say, "Look, I'm not going to deal with you, and grow your plans." You know. Oh yeah, I mean, you—that's what we do. We we <laughs> we post post stuff, you know, put put that no trust pass out there, and uh, get the uh, executor forgiveness doc with the fee schedule and. Um, yeah, give it to the sheriff, and and we, we have a list of the seven E4s, we call them. Um, this goes back to, you know, Greece and, and, and beyond. So one of them is the Department of Transportation. Um, just all, all details. Um, but but the, the biggest thing of all is, uh, I hate to say it, but we you got to know who you are. And I don't want to say that and, and, and put people in shock or fear. It's you got to deal with it. Just everybody's got to make that decision. You know, you know what's going on. So this is what I, I recommend personally to have. We, we need to get I, I, I tell people all the time. We're on the outside. OK, you're on the inside. We got to work together no matter what. So um, I'm going to present my model as being the the best, the superior, but I, I'm not going to deny anybody else what you want to do. You want to start a revolution? You want to get on and stop, stop, stop traffic? I'm like, fine, do it, you know? That's good. We need to tie these guys down. We need to have another, you know, Shays Rebellion. L look that up, where, where people shut down the courthouses. If we shut down the courthouses, we shut down those cash registers. Everything stops. Everything stops. Police are uh, the policymakers are, can't write any tickets. The courts are shut down. We have to focus our energy on on these courts and and these judges. You know they're involved in human trafficking and this hypothecation. So we're going for the jugular in that. So what I tell you, I tell people to do is well, make your strategic withdrawal. Uh, pull out anything you have. You know the, the, this paper fiat scam. Um, get over to the law, the lawful side of things. Uh, you know, make an assessment of your life. Look at bug out of Babylon. You know, and assess. Everybody's got to do this for themselves and listen to what we have to say. But but then prepare yourselves for the worst. I mean, I mean, we're all talking. We all know the the worst is on its way. I, I do believe. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I agree. And, 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 here, and, some of the stuff. And Rocco, I think people. It's important that people know also that even though they, when they filed these, uh, the executor and forgiveness doctrine and their fee schedule, that it does mm -hmm. not mean that the officer or or uh, will not uh, take them in, arrest them. It does not mean that that uh, everything will be hunky dory. You will still have to stand strong, uh, but you will come out the other end on top. And the next time, the next officer will be uh, less likely to harass you. But there, they should expect that there will be some type of pushback, even if it's just by those who who don't understand what the prick they're doing. You know, and don't understand. Oh yeah, you know. Right, I can tell you about pushback. Um, you know, I'm, what am I? I'm six four, like two eighty, and I've had five, you know, jailers just, uh, you know, handcuff me and and just assault me. Uh, had me upside down, uh, slamming my head into a a concrete bench. I got a rod in my back. You know, they must have known that and. Uh, you know, striking me from behind, bruises. I, I've evidenced all this up on the record. See, I've I took had pictures taken, had uh, actually a recording, and, and in my case, they're not putting it on the record. They're like, 
they're absolutely scared. They got to be petrified. And this has been on. That's another battle. It's 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 been waiting to go on the record for months, which means that the uh, the clerk, the county cl- or the court clerk, that's her job. That's her responsibility in my case. And uh, she's not putting the stuff into the record. So we have an issue there that we're uh, that we're watching and working on. So yeah, yeah it's but not you just have to stand walk your in the, ground. Walk in the park. Oh, a- a- absolutely. And you have to build. You got to build the evidence. You got to be. You got to be cunning. You know, wise as serpents, innocent as doves. You're going to have to in- invest. Um, you know, some listening devices. There's your evidence. You know, you want to catch these guys. You want to be creating. You want to be streaming live. Anytime you're pulled over, you want to be streaming to friends, creating a record. Uh, uh, a, a few of them, I'm thinking, with some backup recording devices. We have to all start working smarter, not harder. You know, we have to. Uh, you know, I, I'm getting ready to to do this myself. You know, actually go out there and. Um, you know, uh, we kind of laugh about it. <laughs> it's like time to be the guinea pig, right? I'm just gonna uh, get behind the wheel and uh, see who. Uh, See who wants to pull me over. Because I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to actually, you know, do a show with this. <laughs> um, while it's going real time. So we, we've got some uh, good stories, too. Uh, like three guys had this paperwork, right? I don't recommend this, but they're doing 100 miles an hour. Got pulled over. And uh, the cop, okay, Cuff these guys for 15 minutes. They basically held strong to their paperwork. They they handed over their uh, well. We have an ordinance of estates, which is a um, it, it's the uh, the Reader's Digest version, you know, of all those other documents. They're referred to as recorded, you know, as we have uh, the ordinance of estates. Is just it's just a one sheet that covers all of it because it points to it on the record. So anyway. This cop has um, has these guys handcuffed for 15 minutes and until the uh, the watch commander comes out and uh, says release these guys. Well, discharge. We don't want to be released into anything. Um, a lease is a lease. But anyhow, these guys got um, out of their cuffs and sent on their way. They did take the car okay but interesting thing they went back the uh, the next morning and the people that were holding the car said take this car we don't want anything to do with this we don't want any liability they obviously had a copy of that uh, fee schedule so the fee schedule is pretty daunting uh, you know what read the constitution the right to contract shall not be infringed so even there it's referred to you can contract they can contract, so why not start contracting? They have been the ones who've been running all this contracting game all over us. So, um, so these, so these three guys, basically, uh, after 15 minutes of in cuffs, you know, they got uh, let go, freed, and picked up the car the next day. So it's starting to get out there, you know. Um, we're at the tip of the spear, like I said. So this is going on. They're running into us. There's not a whole lot of us, you know, doing what we're doing, but uh, we hope the numbers grow. And that's all yeah. we can, you know, hope for and, and share. And But everybody has to do that strategic withdrawal, whatever that means, whatever you think it means. Do you got to sell your house? I don't know. Do you got to... <laughs> Uh, do you gotta do you gotta leave college? Do you gotta change your job? Do you do you have to do this? Do you, I, I don't know. You, you're gonna have to sit down and make an assessment. Um, so th- these are pretty exciting times, though. You gotta admit. Yeah, they are, and and I think that um, we're coming up to a real difficult time uh, for people uh, globally with uh, the. Uh, manufactured collapse of the economies and the uh, UN standing by ready to uh, pick it up. Uh, I just saw an article today on uh, the UN uh, getting ready for a biometric uh, cash system um, because of the instability 
of the world currencies at this time and they feel that going toward the uh, the new system will uh, will stop all this instability and uh, make things easier across <laughs> the board. Of course, we know this is what they're moving toward anyway. Um, sure. But I think it, yeah, and I think it's all engineered to get us there. And if we don't do something now, um, you know, we're in trouble. Right. Well, here's our here's our here's our plan to uh, to uh, bring back stability instead of having having us held as surety. The, the franchise, yeah, well, the franchise has held security, and you say, I'm the franchise through Joinder, that's how they're grabbing you. It's like saying, hey, can I borrow your raincoat? But you're in the raincoat, and they take you. You see what I'm saying? You see what's going on there? Um, yeah. So we want to swap out, swap out us being surety, and we want to put that on the attorneys. We were going to do a surety swap. These are agents of the Crown. They are instrumental in in uh, human trafficking again see what I tell you are two high crimes all we gotta do is focus on human trafficking alone they cannot defend that that when they're printing money off of our backs that's human trafficking when you look at a borrower's covenant you know you're looking at your notes and mortgages and you say you know heirs and assigns forever when you see that forever word forever means forever and anytime that they're coming in they're human trafficking I mean forever means no encumbrances forever slavery is an encumbrance <laughs> it's it, it's all one big tax every every court case is a tax to them and there's all these dimensions to it um, the the bench is a bank uh, every courtroom is a bank, and then we have judges wearing Geneva robes, and who wears Geneva robes but priests? And then we get into that aspects of ecclesiastical law, judicial canons. I mean, we could go in so many different directions. No, it's not even funny. But uh, I'm back to the, the surety swap, as we call it here. Um, we're going to put these... We've already... It's going to help everybody, you know, whether you're doing this or not. Um, because we're drawing attention to, hey, the attorneys are the ones involved in human trafficking. Uh, they're agents of the Crown. So we have specifically uh, referred to that in, uh, in paperwork. So I just want to share that. Well, yeah, and we have been seeing movement uh, with uh, many uh, judges, lawyers, um, uh, being arrested, police officers being arrested um, for corruption and and uh, stuff like this. Lately, uh, it seems like every day there's something else, you know. So uh, maybe you know, uh, if the more people that are able, even even if the people listening don't want to do it themselves, uh, if they give that information out, somebody else might want to, you know. Uh, everyone should have the right uh, to to be able to choose for themselves whether they want to remain a part uh, of this system and and uh, uh, let them uh, use you as a human resource, or if you want to step out of it uh, and and just be um, as you have uh, a right to be. You know uh, that's the important thing. Like Rav said. We've been putting the information out everywhere. We've been talking to people uh, about it and, and uh, sending the documents out, uh, sending the website, Tammy's website, uh, out to people. So I'm sure that, that if we keep doing this, and you guys with your great work that you do on Reve Revelation Radio, um, you know, and No Borders, No Borders is with us. Uh, I think I think we've got a really good chance because it's not just something that applies here in the U.S. It applies globally to every country, every government. You know, it's it's um, yeah, it's worldwide. You know, well, we and also right, I'll I'll acknowledge that, but also it's kind of easy because Congress became worldwide with the Lend Lease Agreement. Hey, this is all part of the plan. So worldwide, you could just focus on Congress, but, and, and that will cover everything, you know, uh, jump above their heads, their bosses, the, the House of Lords, and 
parliament and bishops. So it's um, it's all interconnected. You know, they're the uh, they're the church, they're the bank, they're the government. Right, and and the people in the other countries can also file these papers, though, the executor and forgiveness yeah. doctrine uh, document and it and the the uh, fee schedule. Yeah, uh, and they would it's file universal. it. It's universal. Right. Yeah, you they record it, uh, public record, and then file it into a case if they had a case, because when you file something into a case, that's um, public record as well. So that was a beauty thing. Let me, if I jump back to a couple of my cases, uh, I think they stopped the way they did. They hit a wall because I had them in federal court, state court, and all of a sudden they've been noticed up in, in federal. So now the government was noticed up because the court was noticed up. Uh, the state, I took care of so many notices. You know, I was like, I just used those court cases as a. Uh, as a uh, you know, as a public forum, basically, so it worked out nice. Right, got the word out in the most expedient of manner. <laughs> right, and you know, I'm and I'm glad that you know we're yeah we can talk about this and and we're on the the front lines and can share with you guys. I mean, it it really is exciting. Um, we can. Well, I mean, we just get a little. Uh, tidbits here and there it's funny how they uh, like like uh, the mail I told you whenever when dead people are sending each other correspondence what's going on there you're evidencing yourself up as dead you're using that that patented name they created that they control so it even even affects the mail so when we started doing this and then we uh, you know we, we we give them our names, what they are. They can't post us up, so we're we're even noticing when our mail goes through that they handle it differently. We, they're not, you know, canceling the stamp. They're not posting us. It's like hand sorted, and we have proof of this. We have scanned images of this, and you know, physical evidence. Say, look at this. You know, uh, they they added stuff after the fact. This was hand sorted, so it makes you wonder again. And I just would, you know, offer that up for the the truth junkie, the proof junkies out there. Right, it's good to be alive, huh, Rocco? It is good. It is. I mean, you know, I I I was. Uh, it's it's a big revelation to. So to, to walk and talk this, it's great to just do this twenty four seven. It's my dream job. Um, that's all I do. You know, I don't care. You're on the bus. You're gonna hear about it. You're in the aisle. You're gonna hear about it. I, you know, the cashier. I go. I'm like, are you still accepting these? You know, these obligations of debt. And they're like, what? You know, every little thing I can start talking with. You know, people about. I just, I just like to put a seed in their mind. Let them, uh, you know, let them go over that and go. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, this isn't money. What is this? Um. It's 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 uh I I would like to say rewarding but uh I don't want to be awarded I don't want to be rewarded you see they're they're playing games with us all the time with their language we have to realize there's a thing called legalese out there and it's killing all of us we have to learn what those words mean we can't be thinking we know what they mean we got to do some study we got to burn the midnight oil into you know, make this make this happen for us. Well, it, thanks to you and Tammy and Bo, uh, the word is getting out. And and uh, Rav, I want to know how much longer you've got on your phone. You still doing okay? Yes, I'm still doing fine. Okay. I was just going to remind you. You remember Kate of Gaia? Yeah. What was her favorite saying? You fraudulent bastard! It's not your name! Stop using it! <laughs> that still makes yeah. me laugh. They, they were going about yeah. things a little bit differently, though, I think, uh, than... You know, yeah. I've heard a lot yeah. of people... I've heard a lot of people talking about how to uh, take yourself out of the system... Uh, how to fight the system, um, but uh, always there there were always uh, 
reasons why it was not a good idea for me. Um, and uh, when Tammy, when I first started listening to Tammy, I was amazed at what I heard because, you know, when when you listen to a lot of these people after you've done it like I did for like five or six years, telling you this system of not paying your mortgage and that and then knowing people were getting kicked out of their house thrown out of their house by following these things and all after a while when you hear it 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 sounds like the woman on charlie brown you know mama 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 anything right. right and and then you hear somebody like tammy who uh from the moment she begins uh she makes sense she shows you she walks you through it and and uh, the system uh, was built to manipulate not to benefit it never was meant for our benefit um, people don't understand this and uh, Tammy did you know and I think that's why you guys uh, have something here that is really worth putting out there because you understand that simple fact that the system is built it, people say it's broken no it's not it's working perfectly right the system is not broke it was built I, I, uh, yeah, that, that was inspiring I saw that myself and said yep it, it just shows you this plan that has been laid down and, and they have um, been working on it that's all they're coming into their they're prime, and we are uh, just being processed. That's all. Yeah, yeah. We're a resource. Yeah. Used and abused. Yep. Yep. And and you know. Do you guys listen? Do you guys? Go ahead. Do you guys ever listen to Skinny Puppy? No. I don't know who that. Is. Well, it's a great industrial band from back in the day, and all their early stuff is awesome. And they then one of their guys uh, died, and they did an album called The Process, and we always refer to it as, are you processed or are you unprocessed? Which was, if you like the earlier version or the later version. And it's kind of the same thing, because if you go back to the original version, the original Constitution, the organic natural law, you're unprocessed. If you're processed, you're in the fucking bag and being traded all over the place. So I'm unprocessed. Yeah, we need to go back to the we need we need to go back to the being the the United States, you know, uh, lowercase the United States. So that would that would predate your uh, your organics. Um, you know, we're we're going to Articles of Confederation here, where we Articles of Confederation, where we were pledged as human capital. So. That's where we. That's where we stand on um, ourselves. So I'm, I'm. I'm aware of the whole Constitution of and the Constitution for, but we just take it back to the Articles of Confederation. Okay, yeah. which that would be from 1776, 77. Which one? 77. Yeah. 77. Okay. Because the one I was referring to is 1789, I think, right? Would that be it? 1789 or the... Yeah, I, I know. we don't, Or the 1791, no, 17... Okay. I forget the years myself, but I it's the, the argument of or for, and uh, we don't even go there. So we just... We just right. the articles okay. of... Uh, hold on. 1780... That's 1781. Hold on, I'm getting my years mixed up here. Articles of Confederation, 1780, not 1777. Agreed upon. 1781. Agreed upon. Just so that I can go and find it and double check it myself. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think you you got it at the website too. Choose your side. You know, it's all there. I mean, I'm sorry. The, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you know that resource. Uh, go there, check it out. Um, Choose your side.org. So, yep, 
Yep. Yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, we were pledged. You know, here's that pledge of allegiance. That you know, here we are. They're printing money off our backs. The forefathers wanted to play with the the boys in 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 Europe, right? They they wanted to be part of the big bank club. I mean, I mean, obviously that's an oversimplification of terms, but they wanted to run up bills on our backs. It's just that simple. Congress has always been the bad guy. Say that to yourself three times. Click your heels and you know, hit your head. Well, a hammer. Do you, do you get that? Congress has always been the bad guy here. Stop, you know, with these other conspiracy theories. It's always been Congress. They're wearing the mask. You know, they're behind the curtain. And and now they're 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 global. They're worldwide. Since the uh, the lend lease agreement. And what what do they do? They do this during wars, and they make these agreements. Lend lease agreement, trading with the enemies act. Sure, we had that in World War One. It pointed to Germany, but guess what happened after that war was over and scores of years went by? Somebody slipped it in and said, "Hey, let's refer to the citizenry as enemies of the state, and let's hang this on them." I mean, it's all engineered. They they get it on the books. They point it at somebody else, and then they point the cannons at you, according to CCR. That's yep. Greetings, clear water. Yep. Revival for you playing along at home. So they point the cannons at us anytime they, they can. And they put those cannons in place sometimes years ahead of time. Okay, here, let me. I'm, I'm doing a little. I, I'm, I'm holding a laptop in my left hand. So agreed to by Congress 15th, November 1777, enforced after ratification by Maryland 1st of March 1781. So that, the Articles of Confederation. So, agreed to by Congress, 1777, enforced after ratification. That's why I had two years there. So, just wanted to give you that footnote. Now, Rob doesn't have cool. to go look now it up. I can up. go back and double check and make sure I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Maryland ratifications, yeah, 1787. And, and there it is. You know what? What do we have in the Articles of Confederations? It says, it says, this style, this confederation shall be named, quote unquote, the United States of America. Now, isn't that funny? They're really the confederation. And it brings you to the Civil War, doesn't it? The confederacy. So the South was saying, oh, no, 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 no. Um, we're not going there. Um you know, they, right. I, I think they were they were reaching for the the real truth there, and, and and calling themselves what they were calling themselves. And you know what? Here's something I think the listeners should look up would be also good. I was talking about the March 9th, 1933 Emergency Banking Powers Act. I do believe it is. If you look up James Trafficking in 1993, what he told in the congressional record, you look up James Trafficking, and it'll blow your mind. What he he put on the record, yep. the that we're bankrupt. So uh, that's an excellent reading. You can you know uh, enter that in. Oh yeah, and what happened to him? If you and and what ended up happening? What's to that? Him? Oh, uh, if I remember right, they yeah, and what, they what? sent him to prison for uh, tax evasion. Isn't that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Right. They they put the yeah. they put the heat on. But you read that, do you, James yep. Trafficking, what he told Congress, you know, blah, blah, gentlemen, blah, 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 we are, we, we have, here we are at the helm or something of the greatest reorganization, at chapter 11 of reorganization, bankruptcy. He told Congress, he wasn't supposed to say that, they don't, they don't, so he was obviously P.O., and he yep. let the cat out of the bag. So it it's happening. Right. Let's you, you know. Let's hope these are cracks in in the dike, the dam. And we we need the dam gone. We need to be restored. Right. Uh, well, I, if, if I remember right, myself. last year. Yeah. Well, if I remember right, last year, uh, I think it was New Hampshire. One of the state senators read the original 13th Amendment to the Constitution into the record, and uh, it was yep. tabled, which is they didn't take it up as an issue, but it is now on the court record again. And, uh, yeah, I mean, 
that's pretty straightforward there, the original 13th. You know, if you're a lawyer, if you've got a Esquire right. or a no Honor titles. Or for your name, yep, done, you're out. No titles, yeah, no titles of nobility. Yep. Right, you'd have to uh, be, yep. dis- you'd have to be disbarred. Absolutely, we, we should have no uh, foreign agents. You know, they're supposed to be registered under the Foreign yep. Registry. Foreign Agent Registration Act. Oh yeah, you, you know. I mean, technically, that's one you couldn't have someone give you. Technically, you couldn't have someone give you a car or you know a guitar without Congress authorizing the gift. If I remember the wording correctly. Right. So I don't know. Any, Sounds any about right. There's... Sovereign foreign power. Or whatever. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. A, a foreign, a foreign state. Yep. And and uh, you see, um, I, I could mention things, but I I it I fall right back into code pleading, so I always catch myself. I mean, I like to talk about some things just to, you know, um, to keep it real. I'm not condoning, but but we we. The people we talk to, you see, this is the biggest problem. Everybody's rear is in the fire, and it's burning hard. So you can imagine the stressful environment we're in. We're dealing with people calling up. Their, I mean, their their figurative life house is burning down, and we're like, oh my gosh, there's so many other things we need to address here. You know, take a deep breath. You know, uh, get your head together. Um, it's it's tough. It's tough. We we got to get more, we got to get this word out. And not that I'm I'm complaining right. about the, the caseload, right. but but everybody's spirits need to well, and, and, um, be nurtured in, the other thing in is, a better is way. The people, sorry. The other thing is the people. They're like, well, I don't want it explained to me. Just tell me what I got to do. And it's like, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> You know hey, what I mean? Oh, uh, you know what? It's like they don't I'll want to be, hear the background. Be, uh, you know, they don't want the explanation. They just want a simple, like, here, I signed this paperwork and I send it in and I'm done, you know? It's like, it's going to take a little I, work. You know what? I was there. I was there and did it. I can say I was one of those guys, you know. Uh, I can tell you because I, I, I believe i gotta, I got to share the truth with people because when they come in, in my case, they came in and stole my children. Now, I don't, I don't care... How many years, you know, you, 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 let's say you went to law school or you're going to tell me you're a Marine or something. Uh, when, when, pe- when your children are kidnapped, you know, uh, it, it reduces you to just such a level. It, it, it's demoralizing, as you can well imagine. So uh, what I'm saying is they, this shock doctrine and this, um, this human trafficking is, is just on, on par with what the Nazis did and you know, or what the Mongols did, you know, invading armies, that's what they're doing to us. So, um, I try to listen the best I can to those people, and I try to say, you know what, I was you, now listen up. This is what you might want to do, you know, and just take it from there. I can only share my experience. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's funny you mention the Nazis because, you know, I mean, look at Operation Paperclip and, and all of that stuff that went on, you know? I mean, we didn't yeah. put ourselves on the moon. The Germans put us on the moon, you know? And actually, we did it with uh, the Saturn V rocket we actually bought from uh, Quito in Yugoslavia. Anyway, that's a whole other story. But, uh... Um, right, right, right. <laughs> I lost track of what I was going to say there for a second. Um, well, yeah, you know what? Gone. Well, Sorry. Herbert Walker Continue. Bush, yeah, Herbert Walker Bush funded the Nazis and in, in all this. You know, he got busted for war crimes by uh, J. Edgar Hoover. So these guys have been in it, you know. But I was saying that that uh, purported 160 billion in gold that went into a credit account account. You know, part of that went to fund Hitler. There's all right, sorts of stories. Right. And we know that Hitler was funded, was heavily funded. So this has been going on. It's the world's elite. Uh, borders mean well, nothing to them. It's all you're, corporations. You're, you're, How? This is the other thing I was going to mention about that is, is, you know, after the war, the Nazis 
made provisions for, you know, the breeding program children and the children of the higher-ups to get put into foster families all over the world. And that was going to be their fourth right, or their fourth empire. And, you know, guess what? It's here. It's us. We are the fucking fourth right. We're the Nazis enforcing it on everybody else through our, you know, global petrodollar hegemony and, you know, the Pentagon. I mean, it's it's pretty ridiculous, you know. I mean, we have become the enemy that we fought in World War Two because we invited them in, had them help us set up our intelligence agencies and everything else, helped us with our space program, this, that, and the other thing, and they took us over. And, you know, the Nazi loot, where did that shit go at the end of the war? They brought it over here to the dark side of the, you know, the black budget books, and they used it to fund the, you yeah. know, the... The space program and the NASA. wars and spying and all NASA, that shit. Yeah. yeah, and you know it's it's to the point where you know now that bill has come due and they're like, look, we need to, we want this money back. You know, we told you we could use it for a while. Now we need it back. Turn it over, and they don't have it. And that's the other part of what's going on too. Right, it's uh, like I said, it's it's a global um, um, web, global net, and uh, yeah, we funded the Nazis. We used the Nazis. Heck, we got a Nazi Congress. Uh, so I always point back to the evidence. It's almost it's like Occam's razor. Uh, why look beyond the Nazi Congress? So there's enough Nazis there. I think. They're, they're acting. They've evidenced themselves onto the record as Nazis. That's that's all you need to do in court, okay? <laughs> and that's not code pleading. That's that's the public law. Yeah, that that's scriptural. You will be known by your what? Your works. It's really that simple. You get yep. two two or more witnesses. Two or more witnesses, and uh, you just put it on the record, uh, like uh, that. I don't know, Senator who read that, you know, the Thirteenth Amendment. That, that's good. You know, that at least that's in in the public, you know, and we can talk about it. And then we can act upon yep. it later. But actually, uh, Tammy has been working on you know a, a lot. So I can't really go into that, but we'll let you know as you know, time goes on and you know, we, we have just protocol, you know, we follow. So uh, but the biggest yeah. thing is is trading trading uh, the, those names those franchises we know who they um, that they own and we're going to put the surety or we're going to put the attorneys in their place literally as sureties. Um, so that's what we're uh, we've been working on, and then we can talk about how that's you know uh, unfolding. And uh, Patty was talking earlier. We're seeing all those arrests uh, of attorneys. I mean, this things are starting to happen. So we just got to wait and see, you know, at, at this point, what's going to happen next. Yeah, and we need to build on what we have. We need more people in, you know, everywhere to to step up uh, and, and uh, grow this, you know, um, I do see changes, and I have seen, you know, until uh, I was not aware, I had noticed that there were uh, a lot more uh, judges being found and charged with crimes and stuff, which is uh, almost unheard of, and then it was after that that I first started listening to Tammy uh, and what she was actually saying after she won the court case, uh, and... Uh, Actually, the first of last month was really when I, I actually started paying attention. But I had been noticing these arrests uh, as far back as, as August, you know, being in the news. Lawyers and, and uh, judges, you know. So, uh, it's making its way. It, it is making a dent. And, and the fact that, that you guys are out, uh, you are out. And uh, you have had to uh, walk a rough road to get there. And it, there's no guarantee that it's smooth sailing. But it gets better and better uh, the further you go. You know, it's, it's just taking that first step. 
that's that's the thing that most people have to get to is is just well, taking that first step right it gets you know it gets rougher and smoother at the same time it's like it seems incrementally you got to endure you know we're constantly growing we're, we're achieving new you know summits and you know, we can plateau out for a while and go, wow, we never got here. I mean, we didn't realize a year ago probably we'd be doing what we're doing now. So, Right, and you also have to educate Thanks. the system, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's just as difficult to do that, you know. They, they have to be taught. Oh, right. Right, and people, you see, and, and we're at the tip of the spear, so I, you know, you know, proudly re report back, hey, this is what's going on, you know, I, and, and people need to know. I mean, for those people on the edge, you're going, do I, am I in, am I out, am I in, am I out, and I, hopefully they can, they can listen and, uh, you know, find the truth, find some solace in what we're saying and actually believe it. Say, we're, we're regular guys. They tell it every week, and it's like, me and Bo, we're regular guys. We, we just... You know, met back in 2009, and we, we've been hammering things out since. And you know what? I, I can tell you, it's gotten harder, but it's what? It's worth it. You know what I'm saying? We, we can't be giving up. It, this has been the hardest thing ever, but it's worth it. Bottom line, it's like going to the gym. There's no swallow a pill here. You know, there's, it's not that easy. Matrix was a movie, but uh, you're well, going to have to not swallow a pill. What's that? Basically, basically what it comes down to is like, okay, here. You can read this, and you can be free. Or you can go around this aisle, and you can be a slave. And if you choose to be a slave, you can be a slave forever. Because that's what's going to end up happening. Or, you know, you can come over here, take responsibility, file your paperwork, and get outside the system. But you have to be responsible to be able to do that. That's really what it comes down gotta, to. It's either freedom or slavery. I mean, go ahead. Right. In, a, in its essence, me being the, the analytical abstract thinker that I am, when I, when I see things like when I was uh, digging as a code pleader and, and, and realizing just by having a social security number, you're their property and I, I can show you it. I can actually show you. If you're involved in a retirement program, don't you love the words they use? They, they hide it all in there. What is a, or a death benefit? What is social security? It's a retirement program. They're already telling you, you are a G, you're a GI, you're government personnel. You're a citizen of Washington, D.C., which is the United States. If you say you're a United States citizen, you're really a citizen of Washington, D.C. It's a fiction. It was created by Congress. Congress owns you. You're their chattel. It's just end game right there. For me, it's pretty simple. It's, uh, really, by having this benefit, well, I can't have any other benefits because I don't want to be owned. Click. We're done here. <laughs> you know, um, it's pretty exactly. much Exactly. Exactly. You have to, you have to realize that if you are uh, going to be a part of the system, then you can be a part of the system. But if you're going to step out, you can't, uh, you can't go back and say, "Well, I want my Social Security. I want my retirement. I want my this or I want my that." It's, it's not an easy road. It's you're not you're not getting a free ride. By stepping out of the system, you have more responsibility being put on you. So you have to be up for that. You have to be responsible for your own exactly. life. Exactly. And you know what? Knowledge. <laughs> knowledge. This, this is like a, a joke here. My realization. I know I'm all in because I know I can survive eating grass and dandelions, people. That knowledge is going to just kill me, isn't it? Uh, I'm never going to give up. So if I'm out there munching on grass and fighting the system it's just the way it's going to be I'm never giving up so, so now you right. know that knowledge too people there's no excuses you can get out there and eat grass and fight the system that's all I got that's to right. say that's right that's um, right there, there are no there are no excuses uh, 
there are no excuses. We we have to if we're gonna whine and moan about GMOs and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah you know, uh, we can we can do that to some extent, but we got to be responsible. That means don't buy it, which means don't eat it. And guess what? You're gonna be hungry. So, I guess we're looking at the real live Hunger Games coming up. So, but the the bullet trains are gonna be nice out here. <laughs> Just be a lot of hungry, hungry people. Yeah, it, yeah. it really is. It comes down to that. Are you gonna sell your birthright for a bowl of soup, Jacob and Esau, right there? Um, you're hungry. What are you gonna do when you're hungry? That's the message. Are you gonna give up? What are you gonna give up just because you're hungry? Well, I got a story about you know, Jacob and Esau. One one man gave up his birthright for a bowl of soup. Uh, it's already been done. The model's in place. They're going to do it again and again and again until they get their way, until they get us down to what their Georgia Guidestones dictate. You know, 500 million people, really? That's what they want? Uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of killing, folks. That's a lot of administration of estates. That's a lot of pharmaceuticals. And that's a lot of GMO corn to make us all sterile. Well, they're good which, at which it. Which they've, which they've, 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 they've been done it. You know, they like that. Soy you know what that cream. sounds like to me? It sounds it's like a, a lot of money for them from the bonds, from the death benefits. Well, well, yeah, because the, the, you're, you're, what do you do with your property? If you're the government, what do you do with all your property? You have your property insured, don't you? And you get the taxpayers to pay for it. So, you know, it's just insidious. It's evil a hundred times over. You're getting people that are killing themselves who are paying to get themselves killed. Isn't that just the, the height well, of the they're insanity? they're not only paying... They're not only paying to kill themselves, they're actually manufacturing the goods that are killing themselves. You know? And then they're right. paying for it. And then they're going to the doctor to pay more money for drugs that they produce that will kill them. You know? Uh, that's right. all we do. We create it, we buy it, and we kill ourselves with it. And they watch. Hey, have you guys seen the video, uh, Nancy Pelosi explains Obamacare? <laughs> I no, can't I watch her one. too very much. I can't watch her and, and oh, go, keep my... Go. No, no, it just incites no, no, no. It's me. A, it's a cartoon this guy did. It's on YouTube, and <laughs> it's got Pelosi dressed up in, like, the little evil princess, that little black ballerina dress with a princess crown on and black mascara, and she's talking to uh, Anderson Cooper. It's phenomenal. Go go watch it. It's it's great. Rav, we're coming up on about seventeen minutes again, and uh, uh, so. Uh, so you which hour is this? Yeah, this is. W we did a, a four-hour show here. Yep. Yep. Pretty pretty good, huh? Zito love us for this four one. Four hours. <laughs> yeah, we did four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Our archivers gonna love us for this. <laughs> oh well. Yep. Yep. That's a good thing about well, TCT. Well, this will definitely, def definitely be a good podcast you can throw on when you want to kill some time. Well, it's going up there. It's yeah. gonna be a good one. Uh, I really, really do thank you for joining us, Rocco. Uh, really good to talk to well, you. Sure. I, this is my first time actually talking to you. I've heard you before, but um, uh, really enjoyed having you on. And uh, just uh, let everybody know your time and schedule on Revolution, and uh, you're always welcome to come back uh, anytime on TCT. Oh, okay. So the, it, this is plug time, huh? Plug time. <laughs> Plug down. So yeah, uh, we can you can hear the Bone Rocco show every Wednesday on uh, freedomslips dot com. Uh, that's ten to twelve Eastern, nine to eleven Central. And um, you can call in. 
ask questions. I, I, I do recommend you know, listening to the past episodes, you know, getting the, the documents, the, you know, the executor, forgiveness, the fee schedule, and the, and I always throw in the no trespassing because that's me, the analytical linear guy who I, I want to drop everything I can on these guys. So I, I don't want them anywhere near me or my stuff, as George Carlin would say. My stuff. Um, it's just that simple. So every Wednesday. Hey, I was wondering. This is just a this is just a thought. Could you file a restraining order against them? Like a general restraining order that they have to stay 500 feet away from you or something? No, no, we don't want to deal with that. We're just following the public law, and we. Uh, no, no, we don't want to ask them for anything. You, we don't want to appear before them. We don't. We we're gonna. We don't want to be. Un, we don't want to stand under. We don't want to understand anything in that court. So no, right. okay, no, we don't do that. Okay. We're not going to the other dad. It was just a random. The, the it was other just, father. I hear you. Yeah, it was just a random. I figured I'd mention it. Um. I, I now, hear you. and there's a lot of that. There's a lot. There's a lot of that. Go ahead. Uh, I I just wanted while you were plugging uh, that you also have a chat room that is really really awesome that uh, people need to check out too on freedomslips uh, dot com. Yeah, I try and I try and quote unquote you know uh, run the chat room or at least address the chat room and then um, Bo will be uh, you know he he tends to run on the majority of sides. Uh, or, or, or time, but you know that's good. We, we're all doing our own thing, but I, I'm in chat and interacting, probably more in chat. So I'm pulling up the rear in chat. So yeah, it, it's a good, it's a good chat room. Yeah, it is. I enjoy it, uh, and I enjoy you guys' shows really. Um, and uh, oh. and I got one the, more plug. In yeah, for the website. Uh, for well, the the website choosyourside dot org, and if if you want to get a hold of me on on Facebook, you know it's Rocco Van City on Facebook, where everything is, you know, pretty much shown on on. I use that page to get the word out, you know, so you can see all sorts of, uh, you know, snippets of this, that, and the other. I mean, you got to wade through some of the stuff, but uh, which is obviously Facebook, you know, uh, open because I let people comment. But if if you just uh, go through you'll see a lot Tammy puts a lot of stuff on there so I um, I use it as a forum so you know Rocco Vanzetti that's R-O-C-K-O V-A-N you know space V-A-N space Z-E-T-T-I that's two T's and R-O-C-K-O just another uh, way to um, get get what you may have missed or uh, you know, late and breaking news too. That's the that's the nice thing about that. So just, just I'm good. I got it out. So good deal. And on TCT Radio, we also have a group dedicated to uh, what you guys are doing, and we have a lot of your documents on site, and also the links to uh, Tammy's site, your site, uh, or um, I mean, choose uh, your side dot dot org. Um, so, those members on TCT, you can always go there and get the information that you need. Um, and so, I think, um, Rav, we're about there. If you want to uh, uh, put in a couple last words, any comments or anything before we go? Even though this is your show and I'm running it for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I can get my cats to stop growling and pissing at each other for a minute so I'm not like worried they're going to attack and go crazy here um yeah okay uh I don't know say hello to Bo and Tammy and uh say hey what's up to Nighthawk and uh some of the others there um I actually started out on uh freedom uh freedom slips so yeah back in the day but what Almost three years ago now, I think. But uh, right. anyway, you've been listening to Beyond the Looking Glass on the Changing Times Radio, and uh, yeah, go and check out Tammy's site, which is chooseyourside.org, right? Yep, you got it. All right, 
and uh, I guess that's it unless Turtle's got something else or uh, any last minute comments. Right. And just um, yeah, the Facebook once again, just yeah, Rocco Vanzetti. Like I said, yeah, a lot of stuff goes up on that Facebook. It's uh, it's a good uh, aid, good study aid. So yeah, right and you on. can always right, you can fact, always listen. Yeah, you can always listen into the shows and call in if you have questions. Right. You know, uh, uh, Tammy is always willing to help. Uh, you can get the information. It's all there. All you have to do, if you can't find it, is ask, you know. Uh, and uh, again, and check, thank you, Rocco. And, uh, and check out Bono's Entertainment on YouTube, because he puts up a lot of those shows. So uh, there you go. And that's all i got to say. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, Bo just let me know that, uh, yes, they are on TCT also. You can catch Bo and Tammy. And hopefully Rocco will join us more often now. Um, and, uh, <laughs> sure. On TCT. Yeah, it's really good to have you guys. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank right. you, Rocco. Well, You're doing great work. You're really yeah, doing thanks. great work. Yep, we yeah, all I mean, much. tonight it's was... a great show. Go ahead. Perfect. I was just saying, tonight... You know, I was, you know, uh, joyfully thrown into this, you know. Um, you know, I just traveled from the other side of the, uh, you know, the West Coast to here, so, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm glad I was able to pull this off, you know, just, just uh, you know, talking off, off the cuff, so it's been fun. Yeah, 